Hi, my name is Alan Baker. This video is a follow-on from my one on an introduction to Zigbee Networks. Today I'll be talking about transmitting humidity and temperature data from a sensor. In part one I described the Arduino board and an equivalent development board. I then showed you how to check that the device software is functioning correctly. I then described the DHT11 and the DHT22 humidity and temperature sensors. Finally, I was able to link up the sensors with a development board and through a sketch was able to show you a data output on a laptop screen. In part two, I'll set up the XBs in the same way as I showed you in the introduction to Zigbee Networks video. I'll then provide a video example of the XBs in operation, transmitting and receiving data from a sensor. In the introduction to Zigbee Networks video, I showed you how to configure the XBs, one as a coordinator and another as a router or end device. To save you reviewing that video, I'll do a quick recap here. This time, I'll cover the old XCTU GUI and the latest version. If your XBs are already configured from the earlier video, you can skip this section. OK, I'll start with the old GUI. For convenience, both XBs are attached to the same computer. The router is attached to COM4 and the coordinator is attached to COM5. I'll start by reading the configuration of the XB. From the drop-down menus, I can see that the modem has been set to XB24-B. This reference I found on the underside of the XB. For the function set, I can see that the XB has been set to router stroke N device. The version number is a result of an earlier firmware update. I set the PAN ID to 2001. This will be the channel that both the router and the coordinator will be transmitting on. I then needed a direct link with the coordinator. So I took the high address and the low address of the coordinator and plugged them in at the destination high address and destination low address. I located these values on the underside of the coordinator XB. If I was configuring the XB for the first time, I would then write this information directly to the XB. The coordinator is configured in the same manner. This time the function set will be set as a coordinator at AT mode and will be directly linked to the router stroke N device through the destination address high and the destination address low 
which again is found on the underside of the router stroke end device. This time I'll press the right button just to show you what happens. The latest XCTU GUI has more functions and consequently it takes just a little bit longer to start up on my laptop. However, the process of configuring an XB is roughly the same. Consequently, I'll not be talking through the procedure. In my laptop, I've cut off the connection to the internet. This is to prevent any interference with the recording. So please ignore the two error messages that are generated within a few seconds of starting the XCTU up.
Okay, I'm nearly ready to transmit humidity and temperature data now. If you have a look at these XB's pinouts, you can see there are three ports that are highlighted in a deeper red than the others. These are pin 1, the voltage input, pin 10, which is the ground, and pin 3, which is the data in. Now for this video, these three pins are all I'm interested in. The voltage and ground inputs are provided by the cable attached to the XP. So, I only need to attach a breadboard jumper wire cable from the transmitter port, pin 1 on the development board, to pin 3, data in, on the XP, and we're done. This is almost the final setup. On this side of the table, the laptop is connected to the coordinator XP. On this side of the table, the laptop is connected up to the development board and the sensor. There's also a connection from the development board, pin 1 transmitter, to pin 3 data in on the XB. At this time, the XB is not connected to the laptop. The reason for this is that I want the laptop to work from the development board first. When I get data output through the cool term up, I can then attach the XP. If all goes to plan, the router XP will then transmit the data to the coordinator XP and in turn to the cool term up on the other laptop. As you can see, it is now night time. When there's light, I'll move all this equipment to the garden. I'll position the laptop next to the rear gate. If successful, the next step will be to miniaturize this system. But that is for the next video. Bye for now.